Oh my god. So I was just talking about making videos at night. <laughs> and how it's been so hard to make car videos because it's so dark and you see like you see how dark it is like you guys you can't see anything except like my my teeth oh i guess you can see my face like a little bit but i had to make this video even though it's like fucking pitch black so you're just gonna get this disembodied voice <laughs> had to make this video really quick just hilarious video about mother fucking shay Moisture. You guys knew I was going to make this video. You guys knew I was going to make this video. So, the parent company of Shea Moisture, which is Sundial, which uh, owns Shea Moisture and also the Madam C.J. Walker brand and also Nubian Heritage, all of those fall under the Sundial umbrella, which is owned by um, this fucking dude, this Liberian dude that like created Shea Moisture or whatever. Sundial was recently acquired by... By motherfucking Unilever, bitch. Unilever, which is an Anglo-Dutch fucking corporation that owns racist ass motherfucking Dove. <laughs> I told you. I told y'all this nigga was a coon. I told y'all this nigga was number one, a coon, and number two, a fucking sellout that was just waiting, waiting waiting for his moment that he could fucking get rid of that number one get rid of that company give it to white people and get those motherfucking white dollars what did i say he don't want your motherfucking nigger money he don't want your colored coins he doesn't care he doesn't care yo it's been two years and three videos this will be video number four on fucking shay moisture like that's it it's done it's not even gonna be a black owned company anymore because it was just motherfucking acquired by unilever and it's like not only not only not only did you sell your fucking black owned business that was literally built off of the backs of like fucking black women on youtube like black women on youtube are literally the reason that your ass is rich right now motherfucker not only did you fucking sell your black owned family owned business to a fucking huge fucking corporate conglomerate you sold it to you Unilever of all the fucking corporate conglomerates you sold it to Unilever that their bread and fucking butter is skin bleaching products sold across fucking Africa and Asia and especially Southeast Asia you sold to fucking Unilever like you sold to the devil like you sold Sundial you literally sold Shea Moisture to like the devil it is so fucking funny to me guys like it is really a joke like it is really a joke like because all these years years actual literal fucking years people have been i've been like people have been reaching in their fucking back pocket to come up with all these excuses for shea moisture well i'm gonna keep using shea moisture because of this well i'm gonna keep using shea moisture because of that when shea moisture fucking spits in your face and says they don't want you you your black ass using their fucking products when they fucking change their formulas up on you when they literally tell you oh we want to fucking have becky use our products we want to fucking knock down the walls because we feel like we being fucking segregated in the nigger section like we don't want to be in the fucking nigger section we want to be known as the motherfucking nigger brand like we want becky to fucking use our brand like and y'all just kept on reaching in your motherfucking back pockets to come up with these excuses of how oh well uh well the owner's siberian and and, and i'm also a continental african so you know i i feel like i need to keep supporting him because he's from africa and i'm from africa fucking dumbasses fucking idiots that nigga don't give a fuck if you from africa and if he's from motherfucking africa all he cares about is getting them white dollars you fucking dumb hoes like it's so absurd like it's so absurd like it's literally been years of niggas making excuses and now i did a post about it. i put a post about it on fucking instagram right and now i see people talking about oh now time for me to switch bitch don't switch now don't switch now you might as well keep using the shit the price about to go down because they just got acquired by unilever dove soap only costs like 99 cents you might as well keep on using the shit why are you gonna stop using the shit now oh because now it's not it's not black owned anymore <laughs> <laughs> that should already been a majority minority owned company because two years ago he sold a 46% share of his company to motherfucking Bain Capital and I said from then this man doesn't want your fucking black dollars he starts putting fucking little white kids little white babies in his fucking commercials 
I said, from then, this man doesn't want your white dollars. He hired a whole staff of fucking white girls, fucking Beckys, <coughs> to run his advertising department. This man doesn't want your fucking black dollars. Switched up his formula so it could be more universal for all hair types, aka, oh, I don't want my shit just for fucking bitches with fucking nappy ass hair anymore. Like, bye, nappy headed bitches. I said, this nigga doesn't want your fuck. Like, like, what more does this man have to do to tell you that he doesn't want your money? He did it. He did it. He sold his whole company to fucking Unilever. The skin bleaching and fucking extraordinaire. Now you're talking about some, oh, that's it. Guess I can't use my Shea Moisture no more. Like, why? You might as well keep using it. Like, why you not going to use that shit no more now? Why you not going to use that shit no more now? This shit is a joke. This shit is literally a joke. People was on Twitter like, oh, Seren, you fucking called it. I was like, yeah, you bitches might as well call me fucking Negro Domus, like Dave Chappelle, bitch. Like, my spidey sense for fucking bullshit, especially race, race. Like, maybe y'all can't see me on the fucking, the, the sex shit and the gender shit and the this and the that. But this motherfucking race shit, I know about this fucking race shit, okay? Like, I knew, and I can, I could smell a coon, coon, coons just give off, they just give off, I don't know what it is, like, I'd be like, you a coon ass nigga, like, you're a fucking coon, I don't care, I don't care, like, I don't care if you use all the little buzzwords, and I don't care how much you fucking get up there, and you say, oh, you love black people so much, you doing it for the culture, and you doing this, and you doing that, I can fucking smell the coon coming off of some of these niggas, and it was all over the fucking owner of Shea Moisture. Now, here we are, three years after the fact, and he is selling his whole entire company to fucking Unilever, the maker of Dove, that was just in motherfucking hot water last month two months ago for the third or fourth or fifth time for having racist ass fucking commercials parent company unilever which again their bread and butter is skin bleaching products across fucking africa and asia like you really can't make this shit up like you really can't make this fucking shit up and now people talk about oh now they're gonna stop using shame moisture bitch no you're not you a fucking liar you're gonna keep going to target and buying that shit like i said you might as well keep buying it Getting acquired by Unilever, all that shit means that the motherfucking price is gonna go down. So you might as well keep on fucking using it. Because that's all fucking we care about anyway is like, can we get it for fucking cheap? And it's just like, it's just funny. It's fucking funny. It's fucking hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. Hilarious disembodied voice in a black hole motherfucking screaming and now this red light from these fucking brake lights so this person in front of me right like really like oh like this shit is fucking hilarious you guys and it's just like and it doesn't matter like and it doesn't matter you could literally tell people like here are all of the reasons now i know there's a lot of you that like don't use shea moisture or that like really stop using shea moisture like, I know somebody that said to me, like, oh, after I watched your video, like, I literally stopped using. And I have not gone back since. So, like, this is not even going to be an adjustment. But, like, when, you, when you're, like, talking to people and you're trying to, like, explain to them and they're just, like, literally, like, pulling all these fucking excuses out of their back pocket as to, like, why they... Like, I would just respect you more if you literally just said, like, you don't care. Like, like I don't care. I don't care. And not even... And there's a difference between I don't care and... I can't afford to use something else because that's not like for people just like I fucking have said before like if all you can afford is like 99 cent like dove soap like that's that's all you can afford like if all you can afford is like like Shea Moisture when they're having their fucking sale whatever their sale is 10 bottles for five dollars or whatever that's all you can afford but we're not talking about people that like that's all they can afford and shit like that I'm talking about people that can afford to like have the means or even if not like the immediate monetary means like they have the access like they have the access be it monetary be it able to like get on the internet be it able to like go to different shops like it's people that have the access to like use different products and like do different things and like try different things or to again like make what i've talked about before how being like pro-black and being like aware like not even necessarily like pro-black but just e even starting to get just like more aware about like capitalism and the way that like shit fucking works and you choose niggas be making a choice like well I know, but I'm going to keep on. Don't fucking quit now. 
don't quit now that they fucking sold to Unilever and don't talk to me and don't tell me and don't hit me up and don't leave me comments about like how now you gonna switch because I don't even want to fucking hear it because I don't even motherfucking believe you you're gonna be right up in motherfucking Target tomorrow buying that shit just like you were yesterday just like you were last week just like you were last month just like you were last motherfucking year but I don't want to hear anybody fucking tell me again about how oh Saran You know, you can't call him a coon. You fucking hating on this man that's just trying to, like, build up his business and do this and do that. Like, bitch, I can smell a coon. I can smell a coon. I can smell a coon. If I tell you that nigga's a coon, he's a fucking coon-ass nigga. Coon-ass nigga. Coon-ass nigga. Car video.